Hey what's up guys Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the transition I showed in the intro. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So in Final Cut Pro, these are the four clips which I have taken as reference. All of these are stock drone footages. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to lift them from the storyline. Then I am going to drag the second clip below the first clip. And then use the blade tool to cut the portion of the first clip where the second clip just starts. So it looks just like this. Now go to the effects panel and type in mask and drag the draw mask onto the first clip. And then draw up 4 points. And then invert the mask. And set a keyframe to the control point And to the position. And go to the end of the clip. Maybe one frame before. Set a keyframe again and then drag the mask on the whole clip. Just like this. Just like it covers the whole clip. And then increase the feather. And then you will see the feather is around 100. After rendering, you will check this. You will see that it is not so much blending well. So this is a proper trick that at the point where there is 100, just click on that and then you can change the number more than 100 also. Like you can make it 2000 also. But you are going to see that when you are going to make it 2000, at the start of the clip, the mask already starts to begin because of the feather which is very high. So what we are going to do is we are going to move the mask from the first frame just a little bit on the left side so that the mask do not fill the clip on the first of the clip only. Let's see like this, that the mask should be on a lot on the left. So that because of the feather it doesn't mask just after the clip. I know this is a bit confusing but if you do it yourself you will understand this. And then for the second one use the blade tool again. 25% mask and then if you want to do it on the left side then you can do it on the left and follow the same procedure. Or I am going to show a different kind of wipe transition here. This one is the diagonal one. So draw the 4 points on diagonally. And try to keep it as far as possible because you know that when you increase the feather it will again follow the same thing. And set a keyframe to the control point and the position. Go to the ending, set a keyframe again. And then fill the mask with the whole clip and then invert the mask. You will see that it is a very distinct transition so we are going to increase the feather. As the feather is still 100 you can change it also just like I said before. You can change it to 2000 just click on that and see that in the first frame only the masking already starts to begin. So what we are going to do is we are going to shorten this and then we are going to drag this all the way to the upper portion more. I hope this makes sense. If you do it yourself, you will understand. Otherwise, this is a very confusing one to make you guys understand. Now for the third one. Now if you want a diagonal transition from the downside, then you can make a mask on the downside. This is the third one and this is a different one. And this is a bit more complex. Drag the draw mask. Make the mask. I'm going to make a diagonal and a clockwise kind of wipe transition. Click on invert mask, set a keyframe to the control points and the position. And then start masking like this, like in a clockwise manner, so that you guys get a clockwise kind of wipe effect. And then keep on going each frame. And keep on covering the clip. 
and make sure that if you reach a certain point like this then make sure to drag the other points so that the mask covers the clip and then keep on moving frame by frame and take your own time in doing this i always say this it is very important to go frame by frame and do it properly Yeah, so after rendering it looks like a simple clockwise transition but we are going to increase the feather also and we are going to position it on the further diagonal side so that after we feather it it doesn't cover the clip on the first frame only so we are going to increase the feather all the way to around 2000 and it is pretty much done Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you have liked my video. So if you like this transition then you can pin me up on Instagram and show me what you have done with this transition. And I feel really good when you guys use my transitions in your videos. So if you are into cinematography, photography and filmmaking and all those other stuff then my channel is just for you. And if you like my kind of content then please consider subscribing to my channel and press the red button and the bell button. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy signing out, peace out.